this ain't no intro, this the entree Hit that intro with Kanye, I sound like Andre Tryna turn my baby on Oh, yeah, yes. yes. it's Friday <laughs> I'm Holly Sin, this is Stephanie Brown And we are so excited to be here today uh, Molly Faye and Tiffany Ogle are still out Molly is off on spring break with her kids having a great time Yeah Tiffany, unfortunately, still recovering But we, we uh, really appreciate your well wishes And yeah. all of your encouragement that you've given her hey, She does Tiff, too we wish you well Yes, we <laughs> hope that you're feeling a lot better today. I know she's making her recovery, so uh, keep those well wishes coming. Yeah. Okay, so we are not <laughs> alone on the yellow couch today. Yeah. We are thrilled to welcome singer-songwriter Grace Weber today. That's right, and in a few minutes we'll chat about her new album due out this year and her contributions to the Grammy award-winning song All We Got with Kanye West and Chance the Rapper. But first, we want to chat about Grace's new initiative working with high school students in Milwaukee yeah. called the Music Lab, yes. which is awesome. First of all, like, I'm so hyped right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, right? The music, everything, <laughs> you being here is great. Hey, it's but awesome. tell us a little bit about this Music Lab and what it is. Yeah, so we're starting a new music program for high school students in Milwaukee. Um, it's free and open to all Milwaukee area high school students. And basically, we want to bring students together through music and mm -hmm. offer really cool music education opportunities to as many students in Milwaukee as we can. So, And this is so well timed because in so many different uh, avenues of schools, music is going away. It's yeah. not necessarily part of the curriculum anymore. Right. So for students to really experience the, the uh, bounds that, that uh, music can take them to, they have to do things like this. There yeah. have to be programs yeah. like this. Yeah, and the cool thing is the way that we're modeling it is each session ends up being sort of like a master class for the students. So mm -hmm. every month we have a different artist or music industry person fly into Milwaukee or, or a local Milwaukee person. Um, our first person tonight is going to be Jamila Woods from Chicago, mm -hmm. amazing poet and singer. Um, next month we have Jason King from NYU. We have Aja Monet coming in May, so it's going to be really amazing people coming in. They're going to work with the students. Students get to perform, they'll get feedback, talk about what it's like not only being an artist, not just the craft of being an artist, but also what it's like to be in the industry and be an artist and what the business side is like too. That's, That's important. So important. And I was going to say, what do they get out of it as far as life lessons, things mm -hmm. that they can carry forward? Some people will start out in front of the scenes or in front of the mic or whatever and then they'll end up behind and right. that's just as important I would imagine. hundred percent yeah we yeah. want kids to feel inspired if you want to go into the creative industries at all mm -hmm. you know this is your opportunity to see all the different um, job opportunities you can have in the music industry um, you know if you want to be a music promoter if you want to be an agent a manager and the cool thing is the more artists that are also in the business roles the better the music industry gets for everybody because yes. it's like there's a different understanding between um, you know, people who really understand what it's like to to want to be an artist and then be on the business side of that too. It just gives a different perspective. So sure. we're excited to, to offer that. You're yeah, armed awesome. with everything you need at yeah. that point. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, to, to be able to learn from people like you who have, you basically you've done so many things probably the way you thought they would start out and mm -hmm. then they've yeah. evolved, you yeah. know? Yeah, and, yeah. And to be able to see opportunities, I think mm -hmm. that's really important. And, and speaking of, you're a Grammy winner. <laughs> yeah. We're working with Chance the Rapper. Yeah, and it's crazy. Did, I mean, did you ever see that kind of partnership coming when yeah. you got started? If you told me a year and a half ago that I was going to be on a song with Chance the Rapper and Kanye West and then win a Grammy for it, I probably would have been like, you're crazy. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been so amazing. Chance and that their whole team, they're the, the best people. So being a part of that has been incredible. So we yeah. heard a little bit of the song yeah. right at the beginning. I mean, we could blast it right now for all I care. But yeah, just tell play us, it for the rest yeah, of the show. Yeah, just play it for the rest of the show. But how did that come about? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, you can hear it in your ears? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> so tell Milwaukee how you came to collaborate with the two of them. Yeah, so I've been working on a new album for the past year um, with a group of producers that go by The Social Experiment. Uh, my producers are Nate Fox and Nico Siegel um, and Peter Cottontail. So we're working on my album. Um, we're in the studio with Nate and Nico. And since they produce a lot of Chance's music and they tour with Chance, Chance was in LA working on Coloring Book. Uh, so Chance walked into the studio while we're working on my album and he heard a song and long story short or that I was working on and he asked if he could have that song be the first song on Coloring Book. Ah. So it ended up being all we got and it was crazy because um, you know Chance came in, heard the song and then a few days later the guys brought me in the studio and they're like yeah. okay keep an open mind we're gonna play something for you. Oh my so the song comes on 
and I hear, you know, my voice and I hear the song, I'm like, okay, cool, it's still the song. And then all of a sudden I hear Kanye West's voice on the song. I'm You're like, like, wait a second. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. So <laughs> it was an open mind. Like, yeah. I think my mind has just been <laughs> blown. <laughs> blown. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's really cool and I feel blessed to be part of it. Let's talk about what you have coming up. So besides obviously working with the kids, um, what else are you doing? You're staying incredibly busy. Yeah, so we're just, we're, I'm just about ready to finish up the album. We're mm -hmm. just kind of putting all the little finishing touches on it, listening through as many times as possible to see if we're, you know, we want to add anything else. Um, so we're going to finish up the record and then hopefully, you know, start the whole process of putting the record out, promoting it, going on tour, all those things. So we're hoping that it's about to get really busy. Oh, so. you know it well. <laughs> and we're yeah. so proud of you. And I like that you're giving back to mm -hmm. kids. I. I, I'm guessing that there is so much talent in Milwaukee, yes. such as yourself, yes. that just needs that extra push. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, is that why you want to do that? And is that why you kind of put together the lab? Yeah, 100%. You know, I think the most amazing thing that you can do for a person, for a young person or all people, is to mm -hmm. notice them for who they authentically are. And yeah. what we're trying to do is create a platform for students to be themselves, to show who they are, and to be proud for mm -hmm. having, you know, this this expression that they want to express mm -hmm. um, and we're also I'm really excited to help put a spotlight on the next generation of Milwaukee artists you know yeah. the Milwaukee music scene right now is really bubbling okay really there's there's people that are it uh, feels like it, it, there's just a lot going on in the Milwaukee music scene oh, right wow. now so to be able to invest in young people right now is really exciting for us okay. it yeah. feels like Milwaukee is on the cusp in general yeah. Yeah. Everything. Like they're like yeah. right there it's, it's like about yeah. to just break through yeah for sure yeah. so they need a high school ID let's mm -hmm. talk about the event is today yeah let's event is tonight. make sure we get that out yes mm -hmm. it's at 889 radio Milwaukee okay um just bring your high school ID show up it starts at 4 30 so show up before 4 30 if you can okay. um and and yeah, 4.30, 7.30, Jamila Woods is going to be performing and doing a master class with the students. It's going to be incredible. Yeah, and we awesome. want to thank Grace and tell you once again, so you have all the information, so you can write this down. We're going to put it up on the screen for you. The Music Lab today is at 4.30, 4.30 to 7.30, 88.9 Radio Milwaukee. And that is at 220 East Pittsburgh Avenue. And you can go to graceweber.com slash the music lab to learn more about that. And we want to know, because uh, Chance the Rapper see. won Best new artist, uh -huh. right, for the, the, at the Grammys. So what is your favorite new music artist? Yes. Who are you loving right now who is either new to the scene or new to you? <laughs> we want to know. That's our sound off question today. So go to let our Facebook know. page and let us know who you love right yes. now.